everybody. This is Bob Icino along with Mike Arnold, as always, from Path Trading Partners for a PM Path Chat covering the FX markets. We had producer price index this morning come out at 0.6 month over month, only expected a 0.3, so a pretty big jump there. But year over year came out at 1.6, and that was expected at 1.5, so well within the expectation. We also had Janet Yellen testifying before the Senate Finance Committee, House Banking Committee is tomorrow. I, I don't want to spend too much time on this because some of the questions coming from the Senate, I, I just I don't have the patience to even cover. However, we will cover that she seemed to make a point in her prepared statement to say that March is in play. One of the statements she made is waiting too long to raise rates is unwise, but she also said it's too early to gauge the impact of fiscal policy. Obviously, we don't know what fiscal policy is actually going to be affected on the markets right now and in the general economy. She also stated that they're progressing toward inflation and employment goals. So I think it was pretty balanced, although giving the impression that March was in play, it's fairly hawkish for a dove. So I'm going to turn it over to Mike to let you know what he's seeing on the FX charts. Okay, thank you for that synopsis of the fed speak today uh it there's a lot of strength going into the dollar which can be reflected as you'll see in the charts a lot of weakness in a lot of the currencies which was a possibility this morning we talked about levels in the euro we talked about you know if we got back below this level to watch the 105.84 which we hit and we reached down to 105.52 did not get it going up into the close now we're uh, above that level, but that level is going to be in play tomorrow for further weakness. And then if we continue lower, the 105.23 level, this looks like it's going to be a redrawn trend line. Let me, it's not official yet. So let me do the unofficial trend line update. There's our unofficial trend line update which is really interesting because it's lining up straight with our eight and our rotation zone. So if we do turn higher, there's going to be lots of resistance overhead. We've already kissed this trend line away again. We've kissed the goodbye again today, testing is the high. So that's really what we're looking for in the euro. Pound, again, weakened, did not close yet below this trend line. If it does, watch for the next significant level at the 124.12 level. Then if we continue lower, we're going to trigger this double and then watch for the next target of 123.47. Yen is also weakening. This is opposite because it's the U.S. dollar, Japanese yen. So when it weakens, it goes higher. We reached up. We kissed this trend line goodbye, caught on the moving averages. And now we've hit the 114.24 target again. And the next one higher is 114.76. If you do see extension bond there, look for the 115.12 area. Swissy hit our next target higher, the 10079, essentially 10080 level. If we continue higher tomorrow, watch for the 10102 level. And then if we move beyond that, we'll update in future path chats. Aussie reacted down. This is a daily chart. Tried to get above the significant level again, is now back below it. We still have the rising rotation zone, so we can keep watching this level is very significant. That's why we also say watch for it on a closing daily basis, not just moving above. There's potential scalp trades, but the best ones are when it really gets that daily close because then we get confirmation and we avoid getting whipsawed out on moves like this. Just trying to zoom in so you can see. If we do get that close above that 7680 level, again, watch for 7745, and we're still watching it on the weekly basis too. CAD, nothing going on. Nice inside day today, so very low volatility in the last couple of days in the CAD. Nothing to call out there. That is our brief chart update for Path Chat, our FX update. Back to you, Bob. Thanks, guys. Money Path Podcast, there is a new one out. It was put out Saturday. It is available on our website at pathtradingpartners.com. Please follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and go into your iTunes search bar and type in the Money Path Podcast and subscribe to that. Send us an email at support at pathtradingpartners.com if there's something you want us to cover. 
and thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys soon.